straight to the mother custom rodeo. Dolly said, look, these hoes gonna war. Okay, since my wig. Oh, what thing these hoes is gonna do? They gonna whore. And they gonna whore around. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Today is a national holiday. It really is. It really is. Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyrie Parker. I'm back with a different video, but with the same. <laughs> Welcome to Feature Fridays, where on Fridays I react to different videos, songs, music videos, or anything that you want me to react to, I will react to it and it will be uploaded on Friday. Now, with that being said, a lot of songs and things are released on Friday, so honestly, truly, I'm reacting to it on Friday, but you might get it Saturday. Saturday, Sunday. But anyhow, let's get into this. Today's video may be different. There may be twerking. There may be screaming. There may be crying. There may be gas, shock, you know, conf <laughs> lost for words. Today's a national holiday. It really is. It really is. Today is March 29th, 2024. The day Beyonce Giselle knows Carter released Cowboy Carter to the world. Can, can I get an amen? Can I, can I get an amen? Can I, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Straight to the mother custom rodeo. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. But before we get into it, no, we need more space. I'ma need space. Let me move some stuff around so we can get everybody in here so everybody can fit. And we got space to dance and shake a little tail feather, okay? Because we is at the rodeo. Okay, so now that we have rearranged, shifted some things, I don't know why that is there. We in the rodeo. Let's get to it. I had to set the value on my TV in the boom box because it's about to be loud. First song off the album is called American Requiem. Hopefully I said that right. But let's get into it. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. Nothing to change again. Mm. She might be up there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Whew. Okay, I'm excited. I'm too excited. I gotta breathe. Oh my gosh, I gotta breathe. Breathe. <laughs> I'm just very excited. Do you hear me? I hear you, B. I hear you loud and clear. I know that's right. I know that's right. Like what? 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 What do I even say to that? What do I even say? First and, first and foremost, vocals. Do I know all that she said right right now? No. I'm about to figure that out shortly after I get done with this. Jesus. Oh, it's, it's kind of like a ear orgasm. It's just a lot. Her vocals, her layers, her melody, everything that she does is just top tier anyway, but like this is just like, wow, that was a lot. And then how she played with her voice and did these different growls and playing with her voice and it, it was just crazy. It was just very crazy. She's a whiz. The next song is Blackbird featuring Tanner Adel, Britney Spencer, Tiara Kennedy, and Raina Roberts. Tiara Dale, I seen that she uh, was trending on like TikTok and Instagram and even Twitter for a few months after Beyonce released her um, release that she was going to, you know, do a country album. For her to be on the album, this is crazy and this is big. Congratulations Tanner Adele, Britney Spencer, Tiara Kennedy, and Raina Roberts. Uh, congratulations to y'all and I wish y'all nothing but the best, but let's get into Blackbird. And there's 27 songs on the album, by the way. Birds singing in the dead of night. Song is from the Beatles. It's like a cover of that. I just love how she really like ate that up. She really ate that up, and I love how she incorporated them at the end. 
what I've seen on uh, Twitter. Now, Twitter can be helpful or it could be enemy. Like, Blackbird basically written about a black woman because during the time, black women were not respected or taken serious and were disres disrespected during that time of lives. The song was written for black women and instead of saying black women, the group decided to write Black Bird as to be like, it could represent anything in your life. And you know, so, but it was mainly about black women during that time. It was very beautiful. I just, I, I really wanted to hear Beyonce really like, really wanted to hear her go crazy on it. But I'm probably, pretty sure she would probably do go crazy on it live. Next is 16 Carriages. I already heard 16 Carriages, but we can listen to it again. <laughs> Shantae, you stay. You may join the other girls. The next song is Protector featuring Rumi Carter. Period. I wonder if the next album, the rock album, is going to feature her son because. You know, Blue was featured on a couple of her albums and she also won a Grammy for it, Brown Skin Girl. And I wonder if, if they're doing the same thing with Rumi. And I hope they do the same thing with Sir. And hopefully he's on the rock album. Mom, can I meet you? The water ride, please. August light becomes a golden evening. No way. So relaxing and calming. It makes you feel like I'm outside of a porch and it's a nice sunny day. The wind, the breeze is going. I can see the trees just flowing. I'm drinking sweet tea with a little bit of lemon in it. A little bit. With some sugar. And I'm just stirring it up. I'm on my rocking chair, just rocking. I'm just rocking. As I'm watching my children play in the fields and they just having a good time because I got acres. I got acres. I'm in a nice big house, but I'm in the country. I got horses, I got cows, I got anything that you can think of. Chickens. This is my rodeo, this is my stable. This is my farm. Wow. In all serious, beautiful. Beautiful! And it's more stripped back. I wonder if this the whole album is gonna be more stripped back and laid back. Well, because Renaissance was, you know, welcome to the Renaissance! Ren 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 Renaissance! We was, you know, up there. We was having fun, we didn't get down. So now it's like, okay, we're taking we're calming it down a little bit. Okay, period. The next song off the album is My Rose. That was 53 seconds! Why would she do this? Please give us a minute! 53 seconds of an acapella. Ooh. Next song is called Smoke Hour featuring Willie Nelson. Who is a legend, by the way? If you don't know, Willie Nelson is a legend in country music. <laughs> Welcome to the Smoke Hour on KNTRY Radio Texas. Now for this next tune, I want y'all to sit back, inhale, and go to that good place your mind likes to wander off to. Thank you. I guess that was an interlude, as you would say. So like, wow, that's amazing. I love that. So it's like a radio. Okay, going through like the different, turning through the different stations. I love that. Very, very smart. I already listened to Texas Hold'em because those are Texas Hold'em 60 Carriages were the two songs that she released during the Super Bowl. So, let's get into it. One step to the right, that bar we always thought was nice. Down, 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 down. Which, this song is already a bop. We already knew that. We already knew that. We already knew that. I had to play all of it. We already knew it. Next song off the album is Bodyguard. Give me kisses in the backseat. Hold you closer. Get your eyes off my man. He said, I've been here, wait, I've been with this man too long for you to be looking at my head. Like, look, don't look, don't even think about looking his way. He is mine. She ready to with you. It's gonna be me and you. 
You know that hosey with the good hair you sang about? Reminded me of someone I knew back when. Except she has flaming locks of auburn hair. Bless your heart. <laughs> just a hair of a different color. Really hers just the same. Oh. Dolly said, look, I had Becky with the good hair, but I had Jolene. So I get where you're coming from, sis. These hoes is gonna whore. Okay? What they these hoes is gonna do? They gonna whore. And they gonna whore around. All right. Let's get into the next song, which is Jolene. Oh, you don't want no heat, you and me. You don't want no heat. Don't want the smoke. Don't want this smoke, bitch. Shoot your shot with somebody else. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Period. My camera is about to die, so let me charge her up and I'll come back. But overall, mm -hmm. ah, 2 out of 10. Jolene really ate, period. The next song off the album is Daughter. Your blood stains on my custom couture. Period. It's custom. These fake ones are unwishable. She better sing. She better sing in Italian. Come on. Better sing in Italian. Come on. <laughs> Oh, that's my wig. Oh, that little bridge part. Oh, yes. Oh. Next song off the album is spaghetti. Spaghetti is my favorite food. Now, growing up, we always had spaghetti. What is Beyonce cooking up? Let her cook. Let her cook. Cause she making spaghetti. Let's see. That was so corny. They call me the captain. The catwalk assassin. They know what's happening. Here come the captain. Oh, I'm proposition. Okay. Okay. She better bang, 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 bang. Period. That was good. It just happened so fast. She was spitting to the whole, didn't mean her whole song. That yeah, she should, cause you know Beyonce, for most songs, she be spitting, she sing, then she spit, then she sing again. No, she was just straight spitting. Spaghetti. I'm gonna have to go back and see that because I gotta figure out what the lyrics are saying. Cause that, that happened all too fast. Next song is Alligator Tears. That's so beautiful. This is Smoke Hour 2. If there's one thing you can take away from us set today, let it be this. Sometimes you don't know what you like and there's someone you trust turns you on to some real good shit. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why I'm here. Next on the Smoke Hour is Just For Fun by Beyonce. You're welcome. <laughs> the next song off the album is Just For Fun. I'm going all out just for fun. Need to get through it. I am the man I know. I really love this song. It's very calming and very like soothing and relaxing. I can see that as like a one of my late night drive uh, songs. It was very beautiful. That's my first time hearing about Willie Willie Jones. Willie Jones, yeah, I never knew about him before, so that's great. He sounded amazing. They sound amazing together. The next song off the album, Two Most Wanted, featuring Miley Cyrus. I'm really excited about this one because I know Miley is about to deliver. It's gonna be very much uh, uh, a lot going on, but in a beautiful way. Oh, that was beautiful. Wait till I put it in my car. Oh, it's gonna be a wrap, especially in a late night drive. Rattling the whole way because they, they screaming through my speakers. Oh. Beautiful work, y'all. Beautiful work, B and Miley. Mwah, 10 out of 10. Next song off the album is Levi Jeans. Okay. Hey, Post. Post 1. This 
song features Post Malone, by the way. I forgot to uh, mention that. Okay, that was really, really good. I, Cause Okay, I was a little like, Post Malone. Beyonce's there, I know it's, it's gonna be great, so. The next song off the album is titled Flamingo. I love it, it's very like. I love that. It's very like, it kinda reminds me of the Wild Wild West, Kill Bill. I love that. The Linda Martell show. This particular tune stretches across a range of genres, and that's what makes it a unique listening experience. It's called Yaya. Which leads us to next song, Yaya. It's now the next day because it was too late. I was trying to record, but well, my camera kept dying, and it, by the time I knew it was like four in the morning and I had class. So, we're back. We snap at Okay. <laughs> okay. You better sing. I don't even know that was her. It's like Tina Turner. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Vo the vocals, the aggression behind the vocals, especially towards the end. The song sounded good, it sounded amazing. And it gave me Tina Turner vibe. Back in Tina, back in the day, I could see her doing her little thing, you know, her little dance thing, and shimmy, 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 shimmy. She said twerk, period. Okay, well, let's get into Oh Louisiana, which is the next song off the album. <laughs> Next song is Desert Eagle. Okay. Okay. So that was uh, Desert Eagle. So sensual, so sexy. So a beautiful play on words. A cream, you can eat it in the middle. Period. Ah. Uh, 10 out of 10. Next song off the album is Riverdance. I love that. The beat, the little, it kind of reminds me of Someone to Call My Lover by Janet Jackson because she uses that. Riverdance is a bop. And, uh, and the harmonies and blends at the end, what she did. Uh, mwah, 10 out of 10. Next song off the album is Two Hands to Heaven. God only knows why the two hands to heaven. My whiskey up high. I love my baby. Uh, I love this one. I to heaven. I pray freeze, forgive my soul. Oh my gosh, the layers. The layers. There's so many good layers. There's so many good layering. Oh, it just feels like there's so much happening at once, but it's not chaotic, if that makes sense. It's like organized chaos. What's mine, I'm gonna taste. What's mine, I'm gonna take. What's mine. say after that what do you even say after that like uh, I, I don't even have the words like jeez louise i haven't finished the album but that's my favorite song off the album i'm a sucker for r and i'm a sucker for like a, mm, a little oh it's so good it's so sensual and so like so immaculate the uh Jesus, Jesus. Next song off the album is Tyrant featuring Dolly Parton. DA got that she be up, back outside. I'm on the road, time I ride. Just make it like this. I got that, I'm going in. I'm right. I'm not so now, just tell me how, tell me how. Giddy up, giddy up. Jeez Louise. Like, I literally have no words. I'm just like listening. I don't know. I'm this. I feel like this 
reaction. It's not gonna be much of a reaction. It's gonna be me listening. Cause ten out of ten again. Because she's eating again per usual. But like, golly, like I have no words. The next song off the album is "Sweet Honey Bucket," featuring Shabuzi. She is really like, she's incredible. Like, this is just like, I'll get into more of what I have to say towards the end. Last song off the album is Amen. See you Wow. And it ties back right into the beginning. Oh, geez Louise. That was the album. Okay, so 10 out of 10, actually a thousand out of 10. Like Beyonce, Beyonce Giselle knows Carter. This woman is a legend. It irks me that people call her an icon. She is a legend, a legend. Like she is so amazing outside of the box, her and her team and with everything that she does. Like this is like, this is incredible. Even though she should have deserved album of the year damn near four times in a row. No Grammy amounts to the amount of influence, the amount of sheer genius, the amount of creativity, the amount of hard work, the amount of, you know, detail that she puts into anything that she does. And with this album, Renaissance is amazing. This album is amazing. I just feel as though she's one of the greatest musical acts to ever live, in my opinion. I'm gonna just say that she's educating us. Not only is she able to produce high, beautiful quality music, she's also teaching us. Every time that we go on social media and every time I look up different things about this album, it's something that requires thought, it's something that requires intention, and it's something that requires us to study and to learn our history and to learn about what we have been as people of color, as black people, our history and a history of music. Because a lot of times within the music industry and within America in general, it's been, you know, washed out. Everything that we've created has been washed out and been placed as a white person who has, you know, done that. But we are teaching them. And this is exactly what she's doing. She's taking back the power of what was stripped from us. Our creativity, our talent, our knowledge, everything. Like it's just so it's so impactful and so inspiring and so like wow. You know the term people use that I feel as though I'm not working hard enough. I feel as though for me listening to this it inspired me to work harder, yes, but also it takes time. This to this album took years. It took years and it takes time to, you know, hone your craft and to stay focused and to be, really be intentional with the stuff that you're doing. So, yes, Beyonce works hard and crazy hours probably, but we know we're all doing the same thing at our own pace and at our own time. It just takes for you to be really focused and driven and, and you know, really into what you're doing to make sure that you're doing it right. And she's just, this is what you call living in your purpose. Like she's, she's really lived in her purpose and it's really taken her, I guess you could say her fame and her, and her wealth and really putting it into something that is giving back to, to the world and which that is just amazing. That is something that, I, that is something that I look to do in the future. So like, wow, this album is a thousand out of 10. Renaissance songs a thousand out of 10. Albums prior a thousand out of 10. She really did it. She made a country album. They said that she couldn't do it, and she did it. They ain't like one song? Well, hell, I'ma make an album. Okay, well, I'ma make a whole country album. Let's see how much you hate it then. They can't. You can't, you can't, you can't hate talent. You can't hate a star, especially if they're a star that has a clear mind, a pure heart, and a great soul. So that's just that, and a beautiful voice. Doesn't hurt too. Amazing, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. So if you haven't, go listen to Cowboy Carter, which is act two off of Beyonce's three act trilogy. 
project. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's reaction. If you liked what I said and agree with me, link it down below in the comments. And if you don't like what I have to say, let me know in the comments, respectfully. Because we, we, you're not going to disrespect me, but you definitely not going to disrespect Miss Queen B. Okay, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Look at some of my old videos. It should be over here somewhere or in the description box below. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace and happy Cowboy Carter! Woo! <laughs>